today on the Mandroid Show. Oh. Ooh. happening my android friends welcome to friday's episode of the mandroid show thank god it's friday right <laughs> well like i got a real job right i appreciate you guys clicking in as always you guys are awesome i love all of you equally i play no favorites all right let's talk some android yes 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 as we draw closer to the unveiling and the release of the nexus 5 as well as android 4.4 the rumors the leaks the info the specs it all just comes flying out and we just get a bad facial. Yes, more screenshots of the Nexus 5 running Android 4.4 have surfaced showing us some UI tweaks as well as just awesomeness. Yes, these screenshots right here are from Tuto, Tuto, Tuto Android, Tuto, something. You know, tomato, tomato, Tuto, Tato. First thing you can notice right off the bat from these screenshots is that beautiful, gorgeous, Pretty color for wallpaper. Ah, that's one thing Google knows how to do when it comes to releasing a new OS. They know how to pick the right wallpapers that just draw your eyes to it and you just look down at it like, huh, <laughs> just, I, I, can I lick this? Other things you might notice about these screenshot is a transparent status bar as well as a transparent navigation bar. Yes, they are listening to us, guys, because, you know, this crap has been around in our custom ROMs for a while and finally they're going, okay, we can put that in there and that in there and that in there. Wow, we suck. It's pretty and I guess the location settings, location access settings or whatnot, they, uh, they're they getting a little overhaul too. I guess they're trying to conserve some GPS battery drain. I know a lot of you are probably like me, I toggle my GPS. If I'm not using it, I turn that shiz off. But I guess there, there's new settings in there that's gonna try to help you save battery life, you know, especially with certain apps that activate the GPS, cause you know, the NSA. <laughs> Seriously though. No. Anyways, if you wanna check out all the images, I'll have a link down below in the balls area. Head over to the site, check all the images out, let me know what you think. And keep it on the Axis 5 and Android 4.4, it looks like October 15th might be the day that we finally see this son of a bitch. This just comes from the Google Launchpad devs. I guess Google Launchpad is like this camp for aspiring entrepreneurs and developers and they go here to learn stuff and for some reason these guys opened their mouths and said hey uh october 15th save the date it's exciting what's kind of funny about this too is the htc max is supposed to be unveiled too according to rumors so <laughs> oh htc the htc one max with a snapdragon 600 processor and two gigabytes of RAM and 1.7 gigahertz and I don't even want to talk about it. Fingerprint scanner, good God. But anyways guys, yes, October 15th might be the official Nexus day. It's pretty exciting because that's it's next week. Hello, it's actually, what, Tuesday, right? Wow. Oh, well if that happens, I'll probably have an exclusive Mandroid show thing where I talk about everything and show, oh man, I'll do something. Tuesday's a normal show anyway, so whatever. And then keep it on the Nexus 5, Spigen, 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 Sp you know how terrible I am at just pronouncing stuff? I need to like just verify stuff before I freaking do this. But yes, they released this picture right here of their new Nexus 5 case called the Neo Hybrid and holy, yeah, that's sexy. Not too shabby at all, so they're excited for it. They're already, you know what, I'm thinking this October 15th date might be legit. The only thing is it is so close and Google has said nothing about it. So maybe it's not. Maybe it'll be towards the end of this month. Who knows? Let me know what you guys think and what you guys have heard. Just uh, let's talk. Let's talk about stuff. Nexus 5 and Android 4.4 stuff. Samsung! <laughs> hey, they just threw us a curveball. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Uh, oh my god, this 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 little video right here of the Galaxy Round, they're calling it, uh, with the curved display, it just showed up a couple of nights ago, and initial first reactions were just like, what the f*** is this? It's funny how the words curved and flexible display has been tossed around the net when it comes to these new displays, and you know, flexible obviously is this, you can literally freaking do this. Curved is obviously this piece of shit right here. I mean, come on. This is the Galaxy, supposedly 
It's going to be called a Galaxy Round, and it's, it's essentially a, a Galaxy Mega, or even a Galaxy Note, just bent. But yeah, it's got this cool little feature where you can just go, What's happening on my phone? Oh, look at that. Okay. <sighs> Samsung. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. They are just the kings at useless features in phones. I'm not saying their phones are bad because their phones are powerful. The Galaxy Note is a very powerful device and has some pretty cool features in there as well. It's just, when you see stuff like this, it's like, come on now, all right? You just, you, you guys feel like you could just do everything, but it's okay. Go home, Samsung. You're drunk. Let me know what you guys think about that down below in the balls here, as well as everything else I talked about, and it's time for that hot, sexy, nerdy portion of the show. This suggestion comes from a fellow writer on Android Spin, and actually he had last week's too, or two weeks. He had another suggestion too that I forgot to give him credit on. Um, Steven, good job on finding this one. This week's Mandroid Hot Nerdy Girl of the Week is Gina Darling. Yes, she is a massive gamer, and she dresses up and she does everything. She is hot. The first picture I found of her will probably be one I'll put in here. And it's a very nice picture. Oh yeah. Fat, 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 guys. Enjoy. Awesome stuff. If you guys have a hot nerdy girl suggestion, please leave it down below in the balls area. I think it's coming to that time where actually I'm going to have you guys vote on all the hot nerdy girls. You see who's going to be the mega, and then she'll go up against uh, Meg Turney, who was the mega last time, and then whoever wins that will go up against Sassy Bob, because she's the reigning ultimate mega hot nerdy girl, even though she doesn't do tech anymore, but yet she's featured on it. No, I'm not even gonna say that. Well, all right, guys, hit that like, thumbs up button if you like today's show, and subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already, and also subscribe to my other channel, The Film Junkie, where I do movie news, film reviews, and those autocorrect fail videos that everybody seems to love. I also have two websites, also for autocorrect failness. If you need some laughter, I'm telling you, go to it. You got the videos where I read off the autocorrects with different voices and have sound effects, or you can just look at the screenshots that I use, you know, because sometimes I get a little crazy with the voices, it gets a little loud. Yeah, it's just me. And then of course I have Film Junkie, where I also post movie news. I don't just, you know, post those shows, I actually post, like, information. Well, that's the Star Wars Episode Seven information there, guys, so if you're really looking forward to it, Check it out. All right, guys, I am David, your Mandroid host, and this has been The Mandroid Show. Really hope LG just kind of comes back at Samsung and goes, uh, this is what our curved display does, or maybe it'll actually be flexible. I don't know. I'm just sick of hearing the word flexible. It's not flexible, okay? Jeez. <sighs> Even though I would like a phone how I like my women, you know. Kirby, I don't even know where I'm going with this. Get out of here.